Howdy folks, this is Bob again from uh, Bob Outdoor Engineering Adventures. And uh, this morning I'm Bob. And this morning um, I'm going to have to, uh, I really didn't want to, I, I tried to get somebody else to do this, but uh, I was denied. So uh, here I am on a Saturday morning. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful morning too. I should be out in the woods uh, hiking or doing something fun, but instead... Uh, I'm gonna have to replace the. Uh, I just put this brand new boot on. Uh, you can check out the other video on uh, uh, replacing the. Um, I did the. Uh, replace the rack and pinion in this truck because I was having a bad vibration. And somehow, and I don't know if it's because of the way I put the rack in or. Uh, um, Something caused the the boot to tear, and so um, help me to understand how this how do you get a socket out of the socket set? Let's see, there we go. Something caused the uh, the boot that covers the uh, end of the rack. Maybe it was because I twisted on it, or maybe it's because I spilled some fluid on it, or maybe because it's uh, some type of inferior product, or maybe all of the above. I'm not 100% certain, um, but uh, or maybe a rat chewed on it, even. I'm not really sure, but um, one thing for certain, it, uh, it's all torn up on this end, so I've got to got to replace it before it gets. Uh, Work it's like these uh, expandable half inch drive ratchets, these things are a lifesaver. You can expand them when you need the torque, and then to get in tight places, you can condense them back. So, we're gonna quickly do this here. And I've got to get the truck lifted up and. Uh, Raising my jack, wouldn't cooperate here, so I got some liquid ramps. And I'm not sure what the issue is here, other than nothing really works right around here. And this spray is kind of at the end of its. There we go. All right. Already this morning. All right. Hmm. I'm just got this caddy off. This looks like it's bent. Oh well. That right in there. That right there, you can see, for some reason, I don't know why, blew apart. So I've got to take this apart and knock this joint off and take it all apart. So. It's kind of, kind of a beautiful day out today. Kind of hoping this won't take all day. 45 and 50 degrees with my hands and everything. I probably should be wearing. God bless. How am I trying to grab it? It goes. There we go. There's the cotter pin. 
Not perfect. Now. Let's see what I'm doing here. So I've got to take this off, knock this down, unscrew it, and then I can pull the boot off. I'm guessing it's 1360. Yep. Span the wrench out. Try to do this without getting dirty, but I'm already dirty. Well, this ball joint was taken apart. I already once, not that long ago. Kind of hoping that will come loose without too much trouble. Now, really all we have to do is uh, break the ball joint loose. And typically, I don't really want to, I don't have a puller, or do I? Hmm. I know I have a forks, but forks tear up the boot. Um. I usually heat these up. They're gonna take me about an hour to get my torch out. So uh, let's just give it a few bangs and see what happens. Probably gonna have to get get my torch. But I really don't want to beat the. Every time I use a torch, they come out real easy. There's grease all over this one. As luck would have it. Normally you can, I might just have to go get the heat. Normally you can just beat on the sides. Oops, without getting the rubber. No. She's tight. Ah, got lucky. Either that or I'm just smarter than I think I am. Alright, good. Let's keep going here. So normally I would, and you can see some of my other videos, maybe I haven't posted it yet, but if you hit this, heat this knuckle up, it expands. And how it was tapping it, it usually will drop right out. This one has been off recently, and I'm assuming that's why it dropped out so easy. But uh, that's a win-win for me. <laughs> so, just drop it straight down. And let's see. This should be, I was going to say. I put anti seize on it when I put it together. I was going to say, so it should be pretty loose. And it is. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. I kind of goofed up. Well, yeah, I, I, I still goofed up. Because my tape, I'm going to need to get that nut off. Lord. Good. Now, let's see.
I wasn't really even gonna videotape this like normal, like usual. Uh, it's kind of a last minute thing. But hey, why not? Heck, you only live once, right? It's kind of hard to. So these boots are just held on by zip ties. It's just that easy. Actually, that one's metal. How lovely. I don't know what caused this boot to fail. It's just, the other one's fine. This one, I did spill some fluid on it. I don't know, it seems, kind of odd that a little bit of ATF would do that to the boot. The thing is, this has a metal band on it. So, I didn't bring my cutters. I'm basically just trying to Oops. <laughs> Let's see. It, the band is pinched over. They got these little crimps. And you could, if you had a small enough device, screwdriver, push them over and maybe save the band. But uh, I'm not going back with a metal band. I'm just going back with a. So once I get the band off the rubber, it'll come right off. up the show I'll have to re-grease it a little bit this knife's probably good for putting butter on there's a chunk of it there there we go let's see I just need to get this clamp that's being difficult Sure, why? Duh. At least it's not ninety degrees and one hundred percent humidity today. We'll say that.
Wow, look at that. I do not know what would have caused that. Absolutely bizarre. Hmm. Well, it is what it is, right? Things happen. Let's see. So, that's good. I mean, it looks the boot. I thought maybe it was a little thinner made, but, you know, fairly thick boot. I don't know. I'm going to go get some grease. Oh, yeah, don't forget to take this off. that so I've got some grease there and put a little bit of grease in it I don't look like there's a whole lot in there Of rubber. Nice. Actually, I should probably let's see if there's well, it's metal there. It's part of the teeth. I want to make sure there's no rubber chunks in here. That was a piece of rubber. That's good. Let's put a little bit of this grease on here. This is just synthetic tacky sticks, just wheel bearing grease. I guess I could have counted the threads, but I'm not really good at counting, so I can see where I put the blue. And say it's right here and then there's my mark so I believe it's right there let's make sure I don't see any blue you don't want to see any blue the tape would have been covering it and that right there looks good so I'm gonna say that's it I don't know if you can see that so, get you up in here. So I put blue magic marker on there and I turned it over the top of the blue because the edge of the blue would have been where the tape was. You can see there's no more blue there. So, all I gotta do is slam this back up in here. Install the nut, which is way over here. <clears throat> oh, I can't. Put the nut on up here. Another key that that was in the right spot as you can see the um, I didn't move the rotor at all I didn't touch it 
and this went right back up into where it was when I took it off. So I'm 98% sure that was the correct position for it to go back on. So now all we got to do is tighten this up. We've got to tighten our jam nut there. That would be better for Hetty. Quick style pork wrench. But since I've been doing this for about 40 years, and I haven't had one fall off yet. I say that now and freaking jinx myself. That's it, folks. indentation right there to line it up at the rim that's it another successful project so uh, if you guys haven't seen any of my other videos uh, if you check those out you know for your other projects I got some more coming up and I appreciate it doesn't uh, cost you any like Matt says over at Diesel Creek doesn't cost you anything to smash that like button and that subscribe button and I'm gonna be coming out some other content too, some other uh, you know tours of mines and stuff like that local mines here and uh, start getting into some other uh, avenues so uh, once again I preach you guys hanging out and if this helps you out with uh, or helps you out rather <laughs> lips are getting dry from the cold if this helps you out with your projects uh, uh, that uh, was worth me doing the video so uh, have a great day and uh, good luck with your projects. Get out there and get busy. Like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.